法务部蔡部长、法务部调查局王局长、国家安全局陈副局长、行政院国土安全办公室黄主任。Our friends and partners from the Asia Pacific and the Americas, and our friends and partners from West Asia, Africa, and Europe, who will be joining us later. Greetings from Taiwan, and welcome to the fifth Taiwan Western Asia Forum on Regional Security and Transnational Crime. Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Justice have jointly organized this biennial event since 2013. The forum is being held virtually this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope that next time we'll be able to meet in person. The past couple of years have been difficult for everyone around the world. Here in Taiwan, we have been able so far to contain and prevent the spread of COVID-19, and within the scope of our abilities, Taiwan actively contributed face masks and other medical supplies to the international community in 2020 last year. When they were of critical need and short supply, in turn, in 2021, when Taiwan faced an urgent need for vaccines, Japan, United States, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Lithuania, and Poland generously donated them to us. This virtual cycle of mutual assistance and demonstrates the true nature of friendship, which is based on concern and cooperation. During the COVID-19 pandemic. Taiwan held video conferences with numerous countries on a broad range of issues, including internet security, medicine, and healthcare, and also pandemic prevention measures. And like many nations around the world, Taiwan faces threats posed by transnational crime and disinformation, highlighting the ever-growing importance of law enforcement and security exchanges and cooperation. To date, Taiwan has signed extradition treaties or agreements on mutual legal assistance. In criminal matters, with over 15 countries and regions, even during the pandemic, Taiwan worked with international partners to ensure that criminals have nowhere to hide. And on the basis of human rights, social stability, and economic development, Taiwan is willing to engage in law enforcement cooperation with friendly nations to jointly fight transnational crime. Strategically located in the first island chain in the Western Pacific. Taiwan is confronted with serious external threats, but we are a resilient nation that cherishes our democratic way of life, and will do all we can to protect our hard-won right to do so. The Indo-Pacific is the fastest-growing region in the world. In 2016, Taiwan launched the new Southbound Policy, partnering with countries in Southeast Asia as well as Australia and New Zealand. On economic, trade, investment, educational, civil society, technological, and medical cooperation and exchanges, Taiwan has concluded over 80 agreements and memorandums of understanding with these countries. And in the first half of 2021, Taiwan's investments in new southbound policy partner countries increased almost 60 percent compared to the same period last year, while new south southbound policy partner country investments in Taiwan also rose near 60 percent. Moreover, Taiwan's investments in ASEAN nations now account for 35 percent of total investments, roughly 10 percentage points higher than China's 25.8 percent. Taiwan is willing to conduct exchanges across a number of domains with like-minded nations to jointly preserve stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Through law enforcement and security cooperation, we can together safeguard our shared values of peace, democracy, freedom. As well as the rule of law in the region. In closing, I wish you all the best of health and happiness, and a productive session today. And I look forward to welcoming you to Taiwan once the pandemic abates. Thank you very much.